Hey everyone, it's James, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I returned to teaching during the 2016, 2017 school year after being away for six years. It was for the money. Jokes aside, um, when I left the classroom, it wasn't something that I had intended to, to do, um, an opportunity to interview as a district level science instructional specialist presented itself, and I had just started graduate school because at the time, my goals for the immediate future were to perhaps obtain a job as a district level instructional specialist or as a campus instructional coach. So when this opportunity presented itself and I interviewed, I was not expecting to be offered the position. And when I was, without really taking some time to you know, ask for, hey, can I have 24 hours to think about it? I just said yes as I was driving on my way to class, to my master's program. and. Well, don't get me wrong, the instructional specialist position was a great experience. I was fortunate enough to go to um, high school after high school, 17 high school campuses and classroom after classroom. Every time I went into a classroom or to a different campus, I just had the, the passion and the fire within me to return to the classroom. I just kept thinking about what I would do if I had my own classroom, if or my own students. And there was an, an opportunity my last year as a science specialist where I was able to convince the assistant superintendent to um, allow me to teach one period. So I would basically find a teacher who'd be willing to be teacher of record, but I would teach his or her students. However, that idea fell through the cracks because at the time our superintendent, she left um, in the middle of the year to Atlanta. And so there was this shift of district administration and my ideas just fell through, my idea fell through the crack. An opportunity to become a campus administrator presented itself, and so I said, you know what, why not? It wasn't something that was, again, on my on my radar, but I figured I can get back to the campus level, still practice my and, and develop my instructional leadership skills, but as an administrator. Same thing every time I'd go into a classroom, not just a science classroom, but just any classroom, ELA, math, a Kate classroom, um, I just was struck by all the learning that was going on and the student engagement and just also the change in technology, that was another thing. So when I left the classroom um, over seven years ago, most of my students had cell phones, but they had the flip phones. I wish I had a flip phone here to like flip open to show you, but they had a flip phone or one of those old Nike, Nike, um, Nokia phones. And maybe only one or two of my students had a smartphone. Now fast forward to um, my return last year, Every single one of my students had a smartphone. And so there was just a huge change in the technology from Google Classrooms. That wasn't available when I was last in the classroom. I remember Google Docs and not even Google Slides was available. Google Docs was probably the, the most advanced thing that was available when I had left the classroom. So just with the integration of all these touchscreen um, televisions that I'm seeing some classrooms incorporate into their classrooms and just the blended learning environment. I knew that I wanted to return. I had submitted a proposal to my principal at the time to be an, an admin teacher hybrid. Unfortunately, that didn't work itself out. Um, however, I think that's still one of my goals is to practice my instructional leadership skills, perhaps as an administrator, but being able to do that while being a teacher. And actually I just came back from the ITSE conference and I ran into a high school administrator that teaches one section. Actually there were a couple administrators and they at their campus they teach classes. And you know, one of the things that we talked about is the fact that it's still great for administrators to be able to get into the classroom and, and teach lessons because as I you know stated earlier, while I was only out for six years, I did feel like I was, it was becoming more difficult to talk and help teachers especially in the world of technology because I hadn't used a lot of the resources that, you know, as an administrator or as an instructional specialist, we were asking teachers to incorporate into their classroom. And so it only made sense for me to be able to go back into the classroom and utilize these, these resources, this technology myself, so that way I could speak to it as an instructional leader. One of the other reasons I decided to return to the classroom was the fact that before I left, I had wanted to um, seek national board certification because I think it's just one of the highest um, certifications that a teacher can obtain here in the nation, or at least the USA. And that was something that I had wanted to do. I looked into obtaining it as an administrator. And national board did do something. They piloted a program for administrators, but it just it didn't work out. It fell through the cracks. And so there was nothing you know, for administrators, for specialists, for counselors, 
And so I knew that if I wanted to ever obtain that, I would need to return back into the classroom. And that's originally why I was trying to, as a specialist and even as an administrator, get my foot back into the classroom and teach. Um, but again, as I mentioned earlier, those those proposals did not work through. So I think I probably will do another video about my return back into the classroom because I really felt like a first year teacher all over again. And that's probably just a whole separate video. Other than that, that's all I have. So if there's anything about the video that you like, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put that down below in the comment section. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe so that way you can bond with James. As always, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey everyone, it's James, and in hey everyone, it's James, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why does the um, however that idea fell through the clack, the clacks, the cracks because our and so without that. that's.